Okay, now we'll predict the groupings of carbons in this one for a carbon and a Mars. Same molecules, but you'll see it's a lot easier. But uh, make sure you've actually tried it yourself already. If you got it wrong, it's okay. Just give it a shot and you'll get a lot more out of this. So let me start. <clears throat> this first one, uh, pentane and pentane. These two outer carbons are equivalent, just like their hydrogens were in the uh, proton and more. And that's two carbons there that are equivalent. And then there's these two in the next in towards the middle. They're equivalent. And then finally the one right in the middle is equivalent. So this one's pretty easy. It's uh, three groups of carbons, total of, uh, or five total carbons on this molecule. Okay, next up, the uh, ketone. This is a two pen or three pentanone. So the outer carbons, the outer methyls, they're equivalent. It's a two carbon signal. And then the inner ones, they're equivalent, two carbon signal. And now this one, uh, it, this carbon doesn't have any hydrogens on it, but it, so it didn't have a, a hydrogen NMR signal because it had no hydrogens. But it is still a carbon, so it'll have a carbon NMR signal. It'll be a one carbon signal. So this is three groups of carbon, five total carbons. And now this one's got one carbon. Again, this carbon has no hydrogens, but it'll still have a carbon, so it's a carbon signal. It's one, that two carbon signals, three, four, five. And these two outer carbons are not equivalent, as I was saying, just like their hydrogens aren't equivalent because they're further, this one's further from the ketone. Also, this molecule has five groups of carbons and five total carbons. So you'll notice the one that's symmetric over here, you get less groups because they're overlapping, where the one that's not symmetric, you get more groups. So you get as many groups as there are carbons, so each group is like a group of one. Okay, now the uh, one that was so difficult with proton NMR, this uh, methyl cyclopentane. Let's check it out. So there's one carbon signal, the one carbon uh, methyl. And here's another one, the one carbon methine. Then these two carbons are equivalent. And those two carbons are equivalent. They, they're not wedged out or dashed, so they're equal distance to the methyl. So they're just equivalent. So that's, that's a two carbon signal. And then this one over here, that's a two carbon signal because it, it also, it doesn't have a wedge or dash, this carbon. The car it has hydrogens that are wedged and dashed off it, but the carbon itself is this carbon or equal distance to that. So this one's easier, huh? Four groups of carbons for out of a total of six car carbons. Now, next up, we got uh, one carbon here and this one, um, two carbons. Oh, this carbon has no hydrogens, but it is a carbon signal. Two carbons. There's a carbon that's a, like, I could have put that arrow on this guy too, but that's all right. So this carbon has no hydrogen, so, but it still has a carbon. So it's a carbon signal. Same with this one. That's a carbon signal. Same, now that one's a carbon with two hydrogens. And then finally, that's a carbon at the end there. So total, we have seven groups of carbons for this molecule, which has nine total carbons. So the molecule does have some symmetry around the benzene ring here, So because we get a pairing here and a pairing here. So that's why you have uh, only seven groups when there's more nine car nine. Oh, that's stupid menu. I wish that would go away. <laughs> so uh, anyways, I think you guys are getting it, huh? Carbon NMR is a little easier than proton, huh? So, bruh, you're getting it. Good job, Shaka.